Hitting a man with a car has finally been captured weeks after the crash. Joshua Johnson went to court today. Brent Weisberg tracking details out of Vancouver. Well, good afternoon to you. This is a case that has a lot of twists and turns, including the fact that the accused suspect, Joshua Allen Johnson, actually called the victim while he was in the hospital and apologized. Johnson, stand on the red carpet and face the judge. Today in Clark County Superior Court, Joshua Allen Johnson makes his first court appearance on an allegation of felony hit and run. Your Honor, we would request on the hit and run uh, case a bail of $300,000. Detectives believe that Johnson was the person behind the wheel of a Nissan when it plowed into 34 year old Paul Adams on February 20th, shortly before 2 a.m. New court documents now show that detectives spoke with the person who was inside the vehicle with Johnson when that crash occurred. Detectives executed a search warrant on Johnson's Facebook page and located an incriminating message, including this one from Johnson's passenger. The message reads, quote, Hey dude, just so you know, the thing that we hit the other night was a person, and he's paralyzed from the neck down. And the only reason I know that is because it was one of my friends, and he was on the same road that we were when he got hit. Today, Johnson telling the judge that he has since changed his life since the crash. Prosecutors wanted to set bail at $300,000, but Johnson was against that. If you give me a, a reasonable bail, I would uh, like to bail out. Adams, meanwhile, remains in the hospital. He suffered a broken back, had to have one leg partially amputated, and suffered a broken rib. We've also learned that Joshua Allen Johnson's mother is Sean Johnson. Her name may sound familiar because she hit 16-year-old Justin Carey back on June 10th, 2013, as he waited for a school bus. Sean Johnson is now serving a three-year prison sentence. For more information on any of these two cases and the victim's recovery, just head to our website at coin.com. Reporting in Clark County, I'm Brent Weisberg for Coin 6 News.